Michigan State won the toss, and folks, they did not defer. That's a story to begin with. They said, let us have the football with this high-powered attack, and they will come out on the 20-yard line. Stack three wide at the bottom of your screen. On third down, Stanton rolls in that direction. Fires a diving reception, first down, Michigan State, as Stanton converts his first third down, hitting. He has indeed provided leadership as well as quarterback skill as he rolls the pocket to the left. Now dancing away from trouble, trying to avoid the sack, and he is down. Could not get out of the way as Pat Massey, the four look Gary referred to. They keep a protector for Stanton, and now they send him out into the pattern. And again, the receivers are well covered. Fires middle, got him complete. At midfield, Stanton comes back and finds the wideout, Kyle. Four-man defensive front. Hart for the first down, breaks free. Cuts the open field, 40, 45, 50, and one down at the 44-yard line. Mike Hart making a difference. The fourth freshman, Grady, will see his first action. And he will put it in the air on first down. And he gets it outside to Mario Manningham, the six-foot freshman for a breather. Now it is second down and nine. Antonio Bass, another of the youngsters they like on this team, and they will show motion with Bass going through the formation. And he's firing very accurate for another first down, and he hits Tyler Ecker. The Actually, they stand up on the right side of the defense, and they blitz. Linebacker blitz, hit, throws into it. A beautiful read by the quarterback, and Avon, a possession receiver from Carver. And he is way out here on this play. Antonio Bass is the quarterback. And he picked it up. So Antonio Bass, two-yard line. Now Hart is back on the field. It would be a big lift for the Wolverines if they can score in their first drive. Got it. Avon, touchdown, Michigan. Working the corner of the end zone against the small defensive backs for the Spartans. And now Michigan serves notice. That Michigan's offense is still tough to stop. Garrett Reedus hammers home the extra point for Michigan. He was right in Stanton's face again. The state coaches to a man said this would be the best defense they've played so far this year. And Drew Stanton has to dance again. About the third time he's been on the run, sacked once, gets away from pressure. Can he throw it away? <laughs> Dropped. But it's. And incomplete. There's a penalty flag. A penalty. Wolverines a huge lift with that 45-yarder. Back in at running back. And here he comes again, trying to swing to the right. And uh, Jack, I know you've been uh, talking to Coach. Skin hasn't fumbled a lot, but two key fumbles have cost them losses. Yes, they have. Big time fumble. Play fake by Henny. Pocket holds. Fires. Touchdown. Will walk in this time. It's Mario Manningham, the freshman. 43 yards. This is a stunned Spartan Stadium. Two positions and two. Seven yards against the secondary. Gutierrez puts it down for Revis. And folks, there's one way to take a cross spot. So you can see as he sits down on this third down conversion, he'll try to get a rush on it. Stanton off the play fake. Great time. Fires first down. Complete to Kyle Brown, the senior wideout. Would roll it up. You can see that this football team is not used to it. Stanton rolling the pocket to the left. Turns completely around. Fires deep middle. Got a man. Complete. And he puts it back in Jeremy Scott's hands. And that will to Henny for 85. Jason Teague is back in. He gets the toss. Stayed outside. Cuts first down. And banged at the 18-yard line by Brandon Lake. And a different person is in a quarterback. I'm not sure who That's it is. Jeremy yet. Scott. Yep. And Scott from Dwyer High School in South Florida carries it from that shotgun look. So two touchdowns. This would lift the spirits considerably in East Lansing. Here's the running quarterback. Five touchdown. Drew Stanton, who, when he couldn't quarterback this team, volunteered for the punt coverage unit. You could see his. Perfect. 
So is he in Michigan State seven. Third down and five, and now Henny will go airborne. Fired back, incomplete ball should have been caught. It was dropped. Actually, the Spartan coaches wanted to get to against this defensive front. And there it is. That's what they were looking for. Downhill, and Kulkrick powers across the 45-yard line. That, folks, is a defense. Now Ringer, the freshman, he's more of the outside, the dash youngster. There's the play fake to him by Stanton. Draws time. Complete Kyle Brown. And the Spartans are on the move again with this wide. Put Scott in the backfield alongside the quarterback. They toss it to Jeremy. Looking to throw it. Fires it downfield. Intercepted at the goal line and then fumbled. Michigan has the ball if they call possession. If they call the clean intercept, back on the one. But they seem to be jumping in there, waving it off. It's indisputable video evidence that showed Michigan intercepted the pass and then fumbled the ball and then recovered the ball. It's Michigan's ball, first and 10, 13 yards. Four down linemen for the Spartans. They trail it only by seven. And Henny gets protection. Deep right, got an open Avod. The very sure-handed wide re uh, performs in the second half today. Second down and 10. Pocket gives him time, goes middle, great grab. Great. Under duress at the 35-yard line, Tyler Ecker, the tight end. So they stay away from Mass right on the front. Of second down and nine. 14-7 for Henny, and the Wolverines on the move again. Fires, sideline, got the first down there. Anthony Avant, the leading receiver in the Big Ten. A one-time beat was the nicest of what they chanted prior to this game. Good defense that time. The penetration by David Heron, Jr. What an interesting story uh, Heron is. Wow, David Heron was the blocking. It's the backup quarterback, 28-yarder. They'll take the point. Penalty. Penalty. Penalty flag is down. That'll be a first down. They only needed about a yard. Well, that's that would a make big it first mistake. down and goal. Big mistake. Keeps it a lot. Third down and five for Henny. Let's see if they find Tyler Ecker, their tight end. Go to one of their wideouts. Fires touchdown. Easy. They use the fullback. Michigan has always had the pullback as a receiver. Brian Thompson slipped out that time, and the senior scores the third touchdown. By Watson, should have been three, ended up being six, and probably seven. Rivas tacks up the extra a lot through the years at the hands of their state rival. Uh, the Wolverines have dominated them. Pounding for a first down. Coming with the power back, Kulkrick again. That's a second. Trannon, of course, played for Tom Izzo's basketball team. Was a strong rebounder for them. First down, Michigan State. And, and uh, proved that he can handle Michigan in the favorite role. Here is Stanton. Fires. Got him. There's Scott. To the 12-yard line, Scott gives Stanton and the Spartans a first down. Coaches reward Kulkrick on first and goal with an offer to try to score a touchdown. They would put him back within seven. Here he comes. Kulkrick, touchdown. He's got it. A very well-deserved touchdown run by 245-pound J.U. Kulkrick. And Cut. now the, the first half. Hurt for Michigan has 68. Well, Gary mentioned it. Our Aflac third and three. Henny dropped. Hey, Bot. Very unusual to see him for their third touchdown in four possessions. They lead it by seven. The throwback, a play they practiced all day long. They put it in the hands of the speed. Michigan will need the angle to stop him. Touchdown! 
Harry Reid, the 6'2 junior, 61 yards. A play they worked on over and over in practice with Staten looking one way and then turning completely around to throw it. In completely flat-footed. John Goss ties it. Deadlocked at 21. Was even five years ago. Henny steps up in the pocket and fires complete to the near side. So easy. He's short of the uh, fin. They bunch the Wolverine receivers to the left. Henny, though, looks back underneath. And short to Mike Hartley. First down on a pass. They feel comfortable throwing the ball. They should. It's there. Second down and four. The offensive line, that's a first down. They'll spot that ball for a first down as he comes back to the Lentz. Wiley doing a good job here. First down and ten. You can see very comfortable in the pocket. Avon on the quick pitch and on those soft coin. It is third down and seven. A four-man rush, fires short of the first down. This will be fourth and short, and the uh, Spartans are indicated waved off, but the umpire is a measurement, which you can in that situation, a regroup. Now they need the first down on fourth and one. And Hart's got it, and the clock will stop, and he's still going. So it took two big old Spartans to finally... At time, fires out of bounds, stopping the clock Good with defense, 13 seconds. Down. And here's Revis. 20 yards. Got it. So it is 24-21, the Wolverine. Four down lineman, nickel look against the wideouts. Henny up in the pocket, intercepted. Picked off. Penalty flag thrown as the ball was in the corner. Trannon, the basketball player, down though at the bottom of your screen against Mason. They look in that direction, come back, fire the screen, and went for a touchdown. And close to a first down inside the 10 yard line. So John Ellen the knocks it down. Deadlocked at 24, East Lansing. The battle continues. Off of each other, one of them stops and turns around right by the 30-yard line. Leading three. And he flips it out to his freshman. He cannot get it. So Mario Manningham, who scored a touchdown in the first half, is second quarter. And now he has driven the Spartans into a 24-all tie on first 10. Moving pocket left, got a receiver, and accurately hits him again. Out of bounds, putting the ball in Terry Love's turn. Today he has stayed away from number 56. Slips inside, backside fumble. Got hit from the backside, and the Wolverines were on it. They've got it on the turnover. So that time, Mr. Harris was in there. Out of the game. Let's see what they do here. Three receivers to the right, and they're going to throw. To the running back, Hardy won't get it. He was dogged from behind by Brandon McKinney, the 320-pound senior, and the guy who was the running uh, back. He was the best guy on the team, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that quick throw on that screen. They put it in Trannon's hands, and the football player is close to midfield. Stanton's going to run for it dive for the first down. No sliding for number five. Florida bandwagon in the Big East. 24 all with 157 to go in the third. A strike for eight yards. And Grant Mason Michigan the stop. There's the option look. And a freshman with the first down run. Beautiful look from Drew Stanton, and they have to be so conscious. Stack the three receivers, that familiar look. And they put it in Trannon's hands behind the two blockers. And Trannon is punched out of bounds at the 12. Yeah, I've been there. I know what it's like. 
It's a long handoff to the freshman who won't get there either. And Curious this will call. set up a field goal situation for John Goss. And uh, you would have expected Money on it. 23 yarder for the lead with John Goss doing the kicking. Left hash. Tough angle up short. And you could see he pulled it. He misses it. That is a tough angle. And I am surprised. Battle of Michigan continues. Chad Henney and the Wolverines coming out. Here's Hart behind the fullback to daylight. And Mike breaks free. 50 in a foot race with Smith. Out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Eric Smith, the strong safety, finally runs him down. Good strike position for the Wolverines. Slipping, and Hart is down, and touchdown is signal. The side judge throws it up and says he broke the plane with the ball. He was stumbling, and somehow he managed to slip the ball across the plane. How huge the goal is that? line is a plane. Four yards, and you score seven to take the lead. 165 yards and a touchdown for Mike Hart. Levis tacks on the extra point. Now it is Stanton and... and 12. Ran to the left side. Gave the field goal kicker in the process a tough angle. Yep. Ringer, the running back. Trannon comes in motion. And they set Ringer. He got nowhere to go, and he takes a whipping. At the 12-yard line, big Mr. Watson unloaded. 31-24, five receivers and no running backs is the look. Stanton with time, going deep middle. Scott dropped it at the 46-yard line. He headed the old red basket. Just short of the, uh, of the first down, Carl Tab, number 17, for the first down. Here's your play. Got it behind the right side of that Michigan offensive line. Dees Lancer. Not thinking a conspiracy, folks, but uh, I am struck by that on the other side. Short drop, Henny. Avon's hands. Avon crashes to the 25. First and 10, Michigan. Big third down for the Spartan defense. Can they hold on the corners? Henny is hit. Ball loose. It's going to be ruled. Fumble picked up. Paco's got it. Down the sideline. The big fella from Samoa. Rumbling for a tying touchdown. Take it home. Big fella does it. Yeah, the big fella. Yards. 320 pound. Defensive lineman and Horn if he slants it. Second down. Hart. First down. What a tough runner. He's been. Brady. Bangs for the first down. See where that ball is spotted. This is going to be very, very tight. By inches. Chad Henney straight ahead behind the middle of the line. I think that's what I would do. Sure. Got to go for it. Now, remember, Chad Henney fumbled the cage like this. It's much quicker for the quarterback to go right behind the middle of the offensive line. Fumble is not an issue with Hart. Never has been. Henny straight ahead for the first down. Here's Hart. Short of the first down. Here comes another fourth down for Michigan. So Carr can decide on the field goal now. Or a back sneak. They can do whatever they want here. They're going to run Hart for the first down. Breaks for Oh, he was almost... Headed for the end zone, but Eric Smith, the safety, hanging on. They're inside the 20. Final play before bringing Rebus on. And Hart plows ever closer, and now it'll be time for Garrett Rebus. Matt Gutierrez would be his holder in this situation. Make it 27. 
Gutierrez, the backup quarterback, checking to see if he's ready. Off to the right. He slipped it to the right. He missed it. 48 seconds to go as Rebus slipped it to the right. Seven for 287, but like Gary said, inside of a minute, and here they come. Team two. Breaks it out to the left, and he's down at the 40-yard line. That will momentarily stop the clock, and that may change their thinking. For overtime for back-to-back -back years in this series. Team barges across midfield as time runs out, and we go to overtime. Michigan and Michigan State. Last year, it took three overtimes to settle this neighborhood back. We'll be back with overtime number one this year. Second down and six. The three tight ends are in. Play fake by Stanton, rolling hard to the left. Broken up at the 12-yard line by Leon Hall. And Le Marine today because of an injured shoulder, so Hall also has been the punt return man. Third down and six. Can't find a man open. Almost intercepted. Oh, my. He oh threw my. it right into the hands of Morgan Trent. Yeah. A young corner just over time. Goss missed one from the left hash. This is a better angle for him. Right over the top of the uh, nope. no good. Yep. It didn't look good as it approached the upright. Nope. And Goss has missed. All would end it. Against the soft corner. Avon driven out of bounds at the 19-yard line. But is the holder. For the game. He's got it. Michigan wins for the second year in a row in overtime. And hail to the victors loud and clear for Lloyd Carr and a struggling Michigan team. As an underdog, they come to East Lansing and beat a game Michigan State team.